all and welcome to this video and in this video I am going to show you how to prepare a skate or a thornback ray which is known as skate ready for eating basically so I'm going to show you how to get the wings off of this fish nice and neat and give you two nice big wing steaks to cook up now this is quite a big fish to deal with so the easiest thing first is to take off the head now basically you can feel a soft you'll feel the hard wing here on both sides and then you can feel a soft curve and you can see my finger going into that curve here and you can feel the same on the inside so just on the inside of this curve basically in line with the eye I'm going to stick the knife right the way through I'm then going to cut straight the way up and out the top there I'll then do the same on the other side in line with the eye right next to where the hard bit is into the soft bit and then I'm going to cut straight the way out like that then I'm going to follow that curve with my knife like so till I get to the backbone I'll do the same on this side follow that curve round like so and then when I get to the backbone here it's going to take a bit of pressure and a sharp knife a bit of wiggling and through it goes just like that there we are now I've got a bag in front of me to put all the bits that I don't need You've then got the same at the back end where all the guts and all of its intestines and everything are there. So you can see the indent there and it curves around again like so. So what I'm going to do is next to the spine, I'm going to go down into the fish out the other side, follow that curve and then come away and out through the wing. And I'll do the same this side, out the other side, pull it round, cut it through the fish there, and then the same as we did on the front, we cut through the spine. There we go, cut through the bottom part, and there we go. This can all go in the bag. We take all of this in and out. So there you have your two wings either side with a lovely handle in the middle to help you when skinning. So the next thing I do to make life easier is I'm just going to cut along this edge. Take this edge off. And I'm going to do that on all four edges. There we go, there's one. Just basically taking the, the skin off as it folds around. It just makes it difficult. So take that one off, this bit here. And go a little bit into this skirt. There we go. And then we do the same for the other side. Right, there we go. The next thing is to find here, you'll feel the bone. And you basically want to start to cut the skin like this, just where the bone ends. We're just taking the top layer of skin off and we're going to start just flicking it over. You probably want to get half an inch, 10 mil, like so. You can go under the thorns if there's thorns, if it's a really thorny one. Some thornbacks don't have any thorns. There we go, and we can do the same on the other side. We want to take flesh with us. We want to just cut into the skin. This will make it easier for us to skin this. Now, once you've scored that bit of skin, you can get some pliers. I like these long nose ones. Get under it there, and you can hold it with this handle in the middle. That's why it's good keeping these wings together. And then, a bit of force, and you can pull this meat skin away from the meat it does take a bit of effort and as you put it down like so 
once you've cut the ends like I've just done of the wings this should just pull off like this it is a bit of effort now sometimes you get these tears especially when you get when you get a lot of um, thorns around the edge of the wing so just take your knife slice them off like so and if they come with the skin you should be able to grab it like so and the same with this bit at the front here there's a lot of thorns there so we're going to go under the thorn like so most of the thorns especially in the center of the meat will just come away with the meat but the ones at the edge tend to stay there we go that's one wing half done let's do the other top side goes you're very lucky if you get it off in one i would say that there it goes into the bag take the thorns off the big thorn there the last thing to do well second last thing to do do the same on the bottom side score it across Finally, that one was a right pain. So we got that one off. We're gonna get the thorns off. Like so. One wing left to do. Score through this bit of flesh like this. Again, with the pliers, hold the middle. All right, so let's get the last bit off there, done. Right, now. All I want to do is take off the thorns that are left on this bit of meat. There we are in the bag. And then what I can do is through this bit here, I can just cut that down there, like so. And voila, a nice piece of skate wing. Do the same here, cut that down through there. And voila, that goes into the bag. And there we go, two skate wings. Skate wings are not the easiest, especially when the thornbacks are really thorny. Thorns do hold the skin on quite a lot. But there we are, nice bit of meat on that. It's taken about 10 minutes. These are very, very good eating. Anyway, if you're gonna keep thornbacks, maybe keep the ones with less thorns than the ones with loads of thorns. The belly side is generally a little bit harder than the top side. So maybe start with the belly side first and then you won't be lured into a full sense of security. Anyway, until next time, tight lines.